Well, hello there, .NET Conf. Hope you're having a lot of fun. My name is Sam Basu, and I'm a Telerik developer advocate here at Progress. Now, you may be learning a lot of technical things today, but let's talk about the real important things in your life, your next vacation or ordering pizza. Now, as geeks, we know that if we can get around without actually talking to a human and just interact with the computer, we'll have it that way. And this is where chatbots come into the play. A well-trained chatbot with deep domain expertise can automate a lot of these workflows, and enterprises are just discovering the cost benefits of chatbots. Now, you could use whatever framework you want for your chatbot, like Microsoft Bot Framework, Amazon Lex, or uh, Facebook Bot Engine. But as developers, you want your users to have a delightful experience as they're interacting with your chatbot. And this is where we come in with what's called conversational UI. Let me show you. So if you head out to telerik.com forward slash conversational dash UI, you'll see that we have built modern, polished and performant UI just for chatbots. And you can do this from any application type, like all of ASP.NET, Xamarin, Kenda UI, WPF, WinForms, so really all types of apps across platforms. Let me show you an example. So here we have an iOS application, but it's written with Xamarin Forms. So purely C Sharp and XAML all the way through. This is actually an example application that you'll find in iOS, Android, or UWP stores. If you download a trial of our UI for Xamarin Suite, we'll give you the source code. So let's look at conversational UI. Let's look at travel assistance. Now this here is a chatbot that's already hooked up to Microsoft Bot Framework and it's running in Azure, but you'll see where we can sprinkle in a little bit of polished UI. So it's asking for uh, your next vacation. So let's call it a family vacation and it's gonna ask you when do you wanna start? Let's just say right away, because why not? How many days? Five days. How many people? Let's just say a family of three. And now it's gonna ask you, these are what's called uh, little item pickers. Where do you wanna go? Let's go to Spain and hit okay. So you already saw a calendar. Now it's gonna ask for where exactly you wanna go in Spain. So here what you see is what's called um, hero cards. So you can get to customize the image, the content, and what each action needs to be on every one of these cards. So a whole bunch of options, uh, rich experience. So let's pick uh, Barcelona. And the next thing is gonna be, do you want travel assistance? Let's just say yes. And again, more pickers uh, for your flights. Let's just choose uh, this Lufthansa flight, which is expensive. Hit okay, and now I think we are almost done. It's thinking, and it's gonna finally say, yep, we got your entire booking. That This is where you're going for three people. That's your total cost. Uh, that's yes for a phone, and congratulations, you are done. So a quick little chatbot experience, but you see the UI that we sprinkle in, the calendars, the pickers, uh, all of these little things that lead to a rich experience. All right, so let's look at some code here to see how simple it is to hook up our chatbot UI. So what you're looking at here is Visual Studio, and this is a Xamarin Forms solution. This one here is a .NET standard project, so it has the shared dependencies for all platforms. If you look at the NuGet dependencies that we have, it's just Xamarin Forms and Telerik UI for Xamarin. So let's look at uh, our main page.xaml. In here is just simply one conversational UI and rad chat. That is the placeholder for our entire chat conversation. Now let's look at some code behind here. The basic premise of conversational UI is the same across all platforms, web, desktop, and mobile. Every chat conversation has to have authors. So authors have an avatar, they have a name, and then everything gets pumped into what's called an items collection, messages or uh, hero cards or item pickers, everything. So here we have some bot authors and I'm setting up a chat message. If you have to render a date picker, it's just as simple as picking up the date picker context, setting up a few properties and adding it to our chat items collection. And when the user makes a selection, we can grab the property changed even handler and grab what the selection is. If you want to render a time picker, same exact idea, set up a time picker, some properties and add it to the chat items collection. Uh, if, for example, you are doing a pizza delivery system, here we can have an item picker context where we get to choose an item source, which is essentially data binding. You can bind it to whatever you want. In this case, it's just a list of strings here for all of our pizza toppings. And this is exactly the technique that we use for hero cards. You can set it up with a template with some images and some custom commands. And this actually does support MVVM, so you can do command binding. And then you set it up and you bind it and you add it uh, to the item collection in your chatbot. And that's it. So super simple uh, way of kind of incorporating rich polished UI into your chatbots. So to recap, the landing page for all the information that I just talked about is tilleric.com forward slash conversational dash UI. We just had a release this week. So go get the hot bits or do a trial download and you'll find all of the polished UI that I just talked about and 
play around with it and see how that work for your chatbots across all platforms. So that's it from me. Hope you enjoy the rest of .NET Conf. Bye now. Thank you.